So basically, when I start out, uh, if I'm going to paint a portrait, I usually start out with a basic mixture of gold ochre. Gold o some people uh, use yellow ochre, which is fine also. I think gold ochre just has a little more tinting strength. That means I'm able to uh, uh, darken uh, a color very quickly. So gold ochre, and then I, I might start out with cadmium scarlet, which is more towards, it's like a, a warm red. It's, a, it's more towards the orange side, actually. But I'll start out with, with a mixture like that. Yeah, add a little bit of more, a little more gold ochre in there. And then I'll add some white to this, which basically gives me a warm, a warm mixture to work with. And I can get various degrees of values just by adding white. Now, that's one, one way to start for a basic mixture. But I wouldn't just keep this. I wouldn't just mix flesh, tone, flesh tones with just different values of this color. I've, I've got over here uh, burnt sienna. And I'll show you what, what a lot of times what what artists want to do is just change the value. I don't usually use burnt sienna. Uh, sometimes I use it for, for various situations, but most of the time it's not even on my palette, but I went ahead and put it on here just to show you. A lot of times people assume, well, we just add brown, which is like a raw sienna. If I just have brown and I add a bunch of white to it, then I'll get all sorts of values that I can put in to use for my flesh tones. Now, you'll see when I start to do this that you do get all sorts of values. You can get all kinds of values, but the thing is, when you look at that, does that look like, like skin tones? Does that, can you use that all throughout your painting and, and look like skin tones? To me, it's going to start to look pretty fake, uh, almost like a bad tan or something. It's all too warm. So what do you do? Let me get rid of this because I don't, I don't, well, no, yeah, we'll get rid of this. So what do you do? Instead of just using this warm mixture that I put down there, I need something to go in it to help tone it down a little bit, to help neutralize it a little bit. I, I'm not, I shouldn't say neutralize. When you think of neutralize, you think of uh, more of a, I guess, you think of something different. Let's, let's call it grain down. In order to gray down a color, you have to add its complement. And remember, we talked about complementary colors. So what I would do, since I started out with more of a, a cad scarlet, I would take something. I would, I would do a couple of different things. Cad scarlet is like a very warm, uh, very warm red. And the opposite of a very warm red is a very cool green. So a very cool green would be viridian, for one. So if I mix some viridian over here, now surely we can't just use that in skin tones, can you? Well, look at some of the Impressionist paintings. You'll see all sorts of colors in skin tones that you never would have imagined, but the way that they use them in complements next to each other. Uh, complementary colors next to each other, when you stand back, your eye automatically mixes those colors together and gives you the illusion of a different color. So I wouldn't necessarily use this straight out of the tube like that with white, but what happens if I take a little bit of that and I mix it over here into this mixture that I have? Then something starts to happen. Then we start to get various grays that start to occur. And when they start to occur, those grays happen when the form turns. We, just like we talked about um, uh, with the outdoor light, with the cool light on top and the warm light on the bottom, the warm, warm reflected light on the bottom. Well, in between there, there's a gray that sort of happens. Same thing with, the in, with indoor light. You go from a light source to a dark shadow, and as soon as that form turns, it becomes somewhat gray. And that's where all these grays come in handy. So let's take a little bit of this. 
And if I take these complements and mix them together, all of a sudden now I get all sorts of different things that happen, different colors that I can use in my flesh tones. Just going to mass in the hair here, get these big shapes. This, this color down here because it's going to look too close to that um, to the color of the skin there. So let's go ahead and change it up a little bit. Add a little bit of cadmium green pale and a little bit of cad yellow pale. It's not going to be the right value. Let me get a little bit lighter. Okay. Should be good. That reflected light bouncing back up in there. This little area here needs more of a more of a change in value than what I had there. a little too light in value for me. 